Hello guys. Um, today let us see how to send a WhatsApp message in, uh, through WhatsApp web uh, in an automatic way. So first make sure that you are connected to the internet and the next step is we should install the PyWatKit library which we are going to use um, to send the message uh, through WhatsApp. So I'll go to Google Chrome and PyWatKit and go into this link and copy this go to command prompt paste it <coughs> press enter since I have already installed the library the requirement has been already satisfied so I close the command prompt and uh, now we'll Go to File Explorer and in an intended location we create a new text document. We could change this into a Python file. I'll create it as whatkit.py extension change. Okay. Now we'll op I'll open this using op uh, VS Code. You can use any IDE or IDLD and uh, now let us focus mainly on the coding part um, first of all we should import the uh, pywatkit library i'll import it as import pywatkit as py and then now first of all we need a uh, First of all, we need a phone number to which we should send phone number. I'll keep it as empty for now. And message and the time at which we are going to send the message. The time at which we are scheduling the message. I'll take it as a string for now. And I'm going to take the time as uh, in 24 hour format is what the time uh, I am going to take and that's what required for the sending of whatsapp message 24 hour time and I'm taking as a string for example 1800 6 o'clock in the evening so example <coughs> and uh, now I'll create a list time equal list map int time str dot split <coughs> here I'm using this time str string 18 uh, double zero and splitting it using uh, spli splitting it uh, by this um, semicolon and we will get a list with two integers 1800 and 0 sorry 18 and 0 and uh, the hover part the time hover part is time 0 18 for example time <coughs> minute part equal time 1 the minute part we are not considering the seconds part here and uh, <coughs> now uh, there's this method pi dot send whatsapp message this is a message that is required to send the whatsapp message and uh, to send the whatsapp message <coughs> we need uh, the phone number the phone number argument and next the message and then the time hover part and time minute and there's an extra um, extra argument that is the wait time it is at a default of 20 seconds uh, we'll make it around 30 seconds 
uh, I make it it's okay uh, 30 seconds <coughs> and uh, this wait time is uh, uh, the time uh, the time uh, we should wait the time we should wait uh, for sending a the time we should wait before sending the message um, actually so that is the wait time and uh, we have sent the message and after sending the message we will say print successful <clears throat> and uh, this is the code only this much uh, these nine lines of code would be enough but there could be some errors that occur so for example the phone number if we have a country code if, uh, if the phone number has a wrong country code that would be an exception that would be a error so for that I'll Surround this using try and catch. Try and accept. <clears throat> try and accept. And accept. Uh, there are many exceptions. And since we are focusing on the phone number, I'll call the country code. Country code exception. And if the country code exception occurs, we should write print country code error and the another exception is the wait time exception for example it's already uh, 1158 here 2358 current time current time equal 2358 my time uh, from my computer clock so if i add a uh, time if i schedule a uh, message to be sent at uh, 59 23 59 there will be some sort of uh, time not enough time there will be a time scarcity so if such an instance occurs we use print oh, sorry if such an instance occur uh, we are uh, that would be an call time exception and upon call time exception we we'll say call time error <clears throat> and uh, and in order to uh, modify more for example the time and the hover there could be errors in that since uh, we will be giving this time str msh phone number as inputs we will be giving them as inputs for by the user we would be there could be an there could be a, a invalid input to prevent that we make sure that if um, time if time <coughs> greater than so Time should be less than 24. Time hover. Time hover should be less than 24. And sorry, and time minute should be less than 60. If if the time hover and time minute are following these conditions, then it is a valid time. So. If, if if the time is valid the message will be sent else if the message if the time is invalid the message uh, sending will be failed sending failed <coughs> and uh, this is the uh, final code and uh, to add modify more in order to modify more, I'll add some uh, some messages so that we could understand what happens 
um, after the uh, sending of messages so if the message was successfully sent we will be printing message sent to say sent to and here we will be in the phone number so that you could recognize it later um, at this is to make sure that uh, the what the schedule message was what we intended to do to whom we sent uh, that should be displayed after the message was sent that would be a good practice so that we know that the message was sent to this person uh, at this scheduled time and we'll print the message as well print message uh, as the message uh, let's see very well we'll um, okay. Now, in instead of a phone number, we are going to input a phone number. Enter phone number, and for this, uh, right input. enter message and for time time I write <coughs> and for, sorry time input enter time to be scheduled into this as well so that uh, the user knows that this is the type of uh, input he has to give so now um, let us run the code and see we, but before running the code we should make sure that whatsapp web is active for example if we just run the code now uh, wait Now, if we run the code now, um, the code will be run. The phone number, I'm writing my phone number to which I need to send. And I'm writing my message. The message is sending from WhatsApp. <coughs> Uh, the time the time should we should be much careful and the uh, time now is uh, 552 so uh, it's 12 5 12 5 57 therefore the time we are adding is this double zero double six but we have to send it uh, after two minutes right uh, for example minimum two minutes will be good so we could take uh, you could schedule it at hours but for demonstration purposes I'll use it around uh, 8 so so double zero so double zero eight hmm. eight uh, then I'll press enter in 58 seconds web whatsapp will open for example in 58 seconds means uh, around 7 7 minute 30 seconds whatsapp would open and after 30 seconds the uh, message will be uh, sent this is the 30 second that we talk here the waiting time The clock is ticking. Uh, 
<coughs> here the whatsapp web has opened but uh, there would be a problem because I have not already uh, kept whatsapp web active for example I haven't uh, linked my phone to the whatsapp web so there would be a problem uh, reaching my phone so I'll stop the code stop the code stop the code but before running this code we should uh, go to whatsapp web close it whatsapp web whatsapp web for whatsapp web and keep me signed in we should tick it uh, in so that we don't need to log in every time and uh, now I am going to link my phone, uh, link my what's, uh, phone WhatsApp, WhatsApp web. Uh, we should tap menu, tap the menu, uh, go to settings and go to link devices. And upon clicking link devices, a cam uh, QR code scan will appear. And if we scan this part from the phone, we could connect uh, WhatsApp to your WhatsApp web. Now I have connected it. Now I'll close every window, every tab of uh, the Google has been closed. The Google has been closed, so the browser has been closed. And uh, uh, now we we'll run the code again. Now, if you run the code, you should give the phone number again. Plus. And now I should give the message uh, the text message. <coughs> the time to be scheduled. The time to be scheduled. Uh, now it's 12, 12 9 and it's almost 12 10, so I'll send it around uh, 11. So struggle 0, 11. And it put should go in 11 uh, 12 11 so in 23 seconds in 23 seconds it will be open and in 30 seconds uh, my stage will be gone so we'll wait for we'll wait for some seconds and at around 10 30 that means 10 minutes 30 seconds what's up what's up web uh, has automatically opened and the message is uh, placed on the message bar automatically and uh, if you want we could uh, send it as well um, this would be very useful when we are scheduling it for hours for example we need to send it at around let's say around, around one o'clock and we want it as a notification we could use this and thank you guys yeah, everybody knows that I'm breaking down. Everybody knows I ain't faking now. Everybody knows my heart's faking now. Yeah, she hates me now. I made mistakes, but now 